there was an electrical charge. There was a sense that people were weighing and, 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 and evaluating, that they were taking all the parts of society that we had lived with for over 200 years, and they were sort of jostling them and shaking them up and seeing which ones would fall through the cultural sieve and which ones had enough weight and substance to stay. Now, I'm not saying that there were not foolishness, love beads, and, and, uh, and people streaking. And I mean, that, when, when an entire decade, and we're talking about a decade that runs from about 61, 62 to about 75, so it's more than 10 years, but, but that era, when one talks about it in terms of its dumbest parts rather than its most noble parts, you know you were dealing with a prejudiced, with a closed, and with a mean-spirited mind. And that's what they invariably do. Uh, they don't talk about any of the things that all of the emerging African nations, uh, the civil rights movement, uh, the feminist movement. They, they, they see the worst parts of all of these things because they fear change. These are the reactionary elements that have been in our society since the very beginning. We have been always a fiercely anti-intellectual nation. Fiercely anti-intellectual. Uh, if you're so smart, why aren't you wealthy? Uh, or you can't fight City Hall, or who the hell do you think you are, or I'm entitled to my opinion. No, schmuck, you are not entitled to your opinion. You are entitled to your informed opinion. Without information, it's just babble, hot air, and farts in the wind. So the 60s was a period in which a lot of things were questioned.